Good afternoon, this is Dr. Robert Cohen here uh, at Westside Aesthetics, and today we are going to do a little jaw swimming. Now, this person wants the jawline, the jaw angle more defined. He's got a very great jaw, jaw angle, but we want to bring in where the master muscle is. He has hypertrophy of the master muscle on both sides, which means it's larger, which means the, ang the difference between the zygomatic arch, the cheekbone, and the jaw, it's not much because it's all flat. So if we want to bring out the jawline a little bit and then bring down the master muscle, you'll have that contoured shape, that nice modeled contoured shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to inject some Botox into the master muscle, and we're going to just give a little definition with a half a syringe of radius on the jaw angle. And within probably about a month, the master muscle should hypertrophy atrophy down a little bit and shrink and give that nice uh, angular look that he wants. It's shadowing. Okay? Let's get going. So the jaw, bite down. Relax. Keep going, Michelle. The jaw on the right side is more defined, the angle, than it is on the left side. Bite down. Relax. The left side angle comes way out here, like 135 degree. Relax. Whereas on the right side, mm -hmm, I can see. Right down. It's more here. That's 90, so it's maybe about 100 degrees. So we want to make this, the left side, match the right side. Right down. Relax. We are injecting the posterior aspect of the masseter muscle. So I want to keep away. Bite down, please. You can see the border of the master muscle here. You want to stay far back from the front anterior border because you do not want to get any of the muscles that are going to cause any problems with smiling or chewing or anything like that. So we stay far back. Right down. Relax. Good. We spread the Botox out where the master muscle is, hit the origin insertion, and hit the belly of the muscle, right down, because this is where we want the contouring to take effect. Right down, relax. Now if this person had bruxism or temporomandibular joint syndrome, I would be more concerned about injecting in not only the master, but the pterygoid muscle and any of the other ancillary muscles to prevent the grinding. But since he does not have an issue with that, right down, relax. We're just going to primarily go for muscle shape, muscle thinning, shrinking the muscle a bit. What I do is I find the spot where I want it to go up to, about here, and I withdraw as I'm putting in the filler, and that is going to be the line that I'm going to try to define. Radius usually lasts anywhere from one to one and a half years. It's a calcium-based filler. I like using it on the jaw angle and the jaw line. It's quite good. Um, we do it with noses, we do it with cheeks, things like that. With this person, they're younger, they're very physically active in great shape, so it might get a year out of it which is good but what we're trying to do is give the hollowness give the shadowing effect that's going to take time with the botox and that should take a good we'll see him back in like two weeks if we need more we'll do it but first the muscle will become weaker then the muscle will shrink so we expect the effect to be about two months so what we've done on the right side we don't need a lot we just give it a little more definition. Bite down, please. More definition. And on the left side, as you can see, we brought the angle from here back in to about 110 degrees. Bite down, please. Relax. Okay. All right. This is what's known as jaw contouring or jaw shaping. We do this quite often. This is Dr. Robert Cohen at Westside Aesthetics. This should last a good 
year with the Botox, you follow up every six months. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Peace out.